Okay, I just wanted to make a little video about what the brindle tricolor is doing and what blue brindle is and why it might look better if you add chinchilla. So first is the brindle tricolor. You start out with just a regular brindle and then if you... Oh, wrong one. If you add chinchilla, it'll turn into a snow tiger. So it's just taking the yellow base and diluting it to a white or an off-white. It's white here because this is ideally what people want, but it can also be like a creamy white color if you don't breed for it. <clears throat> and then if you add splashed then let's see let's put this on top splashed on brindle is going to add the yellow back into the coat wow not affecting the stripes that much it might darken the stripes but if you have chinchilla ideally the stripes aren't going to be affected by the seed loots to begin with and splash usually has little flecks of color and it's not going to be very large spots but then that's why we add in pied because it'll make the splashes clump up. So I was a little confused at first because the white of the snow tiger and the white from the pied were blending together. Here they're a slightly different color because most snow tigers aren't really pure white to begin with. But if you add in these little areas of color yellow it's going to give you that splashed white yellow end with the stripes that we were seeing in that photo and here the whites are two different colors there's like the white from the pied and the off white but in the photos they were blending together to look exactly the same pretty much and we can also do this with blue brindle. So if you wanted a blue brindle snow tiger tricolor, that's a mouthful, you can also do that. And the splashes of the yellow are going to be a little bit diluted from the blue, but you can still get the same thing going on. And let's see, if we take off the pied, we can see what a blue brindle might look like compared to a regular brindle. This one has a bit more orange than you might normally see, but Not the best example because I was trying to do this in a little bit of a hurry so the stripes are a little bit off but it's just gonna have the yellow background dark stripes and the blue is going to dilute the yellow to a like a dusty grayish yellow and the stripes are gonna be blue but they might be a little bit lighter because American brindle doesn't really have intense dark stripes like you might see on Australian brindle and the difference is going to be in let's see if I can pull up here real quick the difference is in the fact that American brindle tends to have more agouti like striping while the stripes on American brindle or the stripes on Australian brindle are going to have either black or agouti stripes and 
the the black striping is recessive to the agouti striping. So if you have agouti and Australian brindle, it's going to look like American brindle. But American brindle can only ever have the agouti stripes. It'll never be the same pitch black that a lot of people would probably like. All right, let me switch over to screen one for a second. So this is an example of American brindle. This is what we're all used to. It looks pretty normal. The striping is a little bit muddy. It's not as dark as what you would see on like a regular black mouse. Like if you compare it, it'll be a little bit lighter. It's not quite the same as a goody, but it's not quite black either. But and if you look at the Australian brindle, it's gonna have these very dark, crisp stripes that are very much comparable to black, like what you would see on a black self. Anyway, that's all of the brindle stuff that I thought y'all might find interesting.